is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cute here. It's a 19, a little 65 Volkswagen Bug convertible. You don't see these very often. And uh, just a cool little car. I love Volkswagens. I had, uh, I think my first one I ever had was a 56 oval window back when I was probably about 19. And they're just super fun, fun to drive. And um, this is actually the first uh, pre-67 that, that I've actually had. Uh, my whole life in a convertible and uh, so in 66 they ended with these lights the bubble lights and went more to a flat light in uh, 67 and uh, but this is a 1965 and this is just a nice little driver and we'll walk around it and let you take a look one of the my favorite things about it is I like the uh, I like the little running lights in there that kind of makes them makes them kind of glow and they're very cool. So those are the running lights and they are working. And we'll go ahead and show the other lights working now. Got headlights, got turn signals and bright lights. There's brights. And I uh, got turn signals. Got our left and we got our right. And uh, go ahead and turn them off. It was just a nice little bug. Now in the photos, it, it looks nicer in, in uh, photos and it was really sunny that day. So you're gonna see the paint and, and the different issues that it has uh, with it in general. Stanley's kind of liking it. Here, get down. And uh, I'm just gonna show you some of the imperfections and stuff. You can see the, the paint here. You know, there's a big chip out of it. And there's some other spots right here around the headlights. You know, the, the thing isn't rusty and it's actually pretty clean. You can see the body here it's almost like someone spray painted or primered in uh, different spots and uh, you can see it's a Carmen edition I think all of them were were built in that factory you can see here a lot of touch-up paint and stuff on it in general and uh, you can see a lot of little spots there you can see a little area that's been touched up there and uh, just different different stuff you can see some little cracks in the in the light and these are really cheap to get but those are original and uh, you can see there so kind of like to keep things original on these the tires are in good shape we painted the wheels put new running boards on it you can see here some chips and stuff a lot of little chips in it in general you know the car could really use a, a paint job but you know no rust blisters down here or anything like that you know, a little paint flaking off but when I uh, put it up on my lift, you'll see a lot of things, uh, you know, how solid this thing was. And we did replace the floors, we'll talk about that later, but we did full, full floors. I didn't want to do little partials like they had done in the past. It's starting to trickle just a little bit, so um, I'll be a little quicker here. You can see here where they paint, you know, it's just got just discoloration and stuff, scratches and chips. And I can't tell if that's a primer or paint, but overall it just needs paint. You can see chipping around here. We did replace a lot of gaskets. We put that gaskets around the doors and around the lights and stuff. The grommets down there by the bumpers. You can see this is kind of the original color you can see right there. You can see here some little chipping around the top. The top's actually in really good condition. And uh, I like the overriders on the bumper still. The lights and plate there. In 1965, if you went into a dealership, they would have put that on there for a test drive. So I have a collection of those just for fun. You can see here it's got a primer spot on the back here. Lights look good. We'll go through those in a minute. You can see some chipping here. And now it's getting little water spots. But um, you can see the kind of a primer fender in different spots, a little hazy. You can see here some little chips, discoloration in the paint. A little tiny crack right there, but you can see here, bottom of the, the quarter looks good. You can see here the, the door's got some issues down the side. 
you know, it's mostly paint cracking, but I think something butted up against this a little bit and uh, just cracked it right here. You know, door shut good. You can see here the paint, you know, big paint chip, but again, not rusty up here in the cow, really solid and uh, not bubbly. You can see a big chip taken out there. There is some, uh, a lot of micro bit blisters on this door right here. Some of this is, is water, but there's a quite a few here, micro blisters. Mostly on this door, they probably repaired it at one point, and, uh, but I think it's still a good door. And you can see that kind of the original color, more of a off-white, kind of grayish uh, kind of look. Go ahead and finish up with this fender. Again, there's a lot of primer and discoloration on this fender, and uh, now it's getting wet on me. Just by luck, I live in Oregon, and uh, but I think it gives you a good idea of what the paint looks like on it in general. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, show you some other stuff. I want to go ahead and show you the rear tail lights. Then we got brake lights and uh, blinkers. Got left and we got the right. And if you look underneath here as well, the uh, license plate's working. So um, kind of nice to have all the lights working. Okay, we're going to take the top down. Just wanted to show you, you know, I know it's easy, but not everyone knows how to do this. There's two little latches on each side. So what you want to do is pull your visor back and uh, you pull this little lever and you see it, see it catches right there. And uh, anyways, we'll pull it back here. We'll see if I can do it with the camera at the same time. And uh, sometimes you want to get back here. Hold on. And uh, just make sure this is all folded, folded nice, and uh, bring it down. And uh, they do have a boot that goes on these two that you can get, and uh, I don't have one of those. But you can see the headliner here is in good shape, uh, too. And uh, we'll just take a look at the, the interior here and put the visor back. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the dash. And uh, overall, it looks pretty good. You know, there was a big old radio in here, you know, a modern one. So you could put one in there again if you wanted. And uh, the face plate wasn't there. I couldn't stand it. And uh, so I put a little block off plate and it continued the, the piece of chrome there. But um, it's not correct by any means, but I think it looks a lot better. And then also, I like these little wicker baskets. And apparently they told me that you couldn't get get one for a convertible because inside here is narrower so I took the other one apart and uh, cut the wood out and uh, rewrapped it so it would actually fit and uh, so um, overall you know pretty sanitary in here you can see some little cracks and stuff on the steering wheel and stuff and uh, it's got actually a really nice wrap on it I imagine there's probably cracks on this part too but um, I went ahead and left that on there the interior actually looks pretty nice and it would look really nice with red interior and like a blood red uh, kind of a maroonish that would look really nice but you know someone did a nice job on this a few years ago and uh, went ahead and left it and we already talked um, I did replace the floor pans in there and we have sound deadener the carpet the carpet looks good and uh, you can see there the carpets a little wet but that's because I just we had our feet in there and uh, didn't have a floor mat but uh, we'll look here on the other side in a minute you can see the door panel is in nice shape you know you can see here the rubber looks good you know different scuffs and different things and the gasket here looks good we're gonna put a new piece up here across the the top it has a little bit of wind noise uh, going on and right here this doesn't meet the window real good like I was talking earlier so but they look they look in good shape and uh, but I think a little work that needs to be done there go ahead and look at the back <clears throat> getting the back seats nice VIN number does match underneath the uh, the hood and matches the title so the the uh, pan is original and 
the heater tubes we uh, re-insulated those as well and uh, but overall I mean pretty nice interior it's got all of its seat belts we'll look inside the door jams here you know I haven't seen any accidents you know on the body except up on the nose it's pushed in just a little bit when I open the hood we'll take a look but you know look at the side jams here very nice and uh, this looks in good shape look at the end of the doors we put new gaskets here on the doors as well and uh, everything looks looks pretty good we'll hop on the other side and uh, take a look you know it looks good in there it's a it looks like an original liner a little dirty but uh, you know, kind of nice to see an original one here again this is probably the original color so uh, we'll take a look at the other side now okay here we are on the uh, driver's side I wanted to mention that I do not have a uh, I have keys but they do not unlock that door and uh, so um, they'll need to be rekeyed so I just wanted to show you the driver's side here gotta have the key in the beep the horn but the horn does work I'll show you in a little bit and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the jam you know very very nice in good condition and uh, not any signs of any accidents uh, on there so seats look good and again that water spot there's just from getting in and out and uh, you know it's pretty nice in here you know and actually the speaker is still in there and uh, so originally this did have a, uh, a stereo in it you look at the end of the door you know I put a new gasket on it and uh, the rubber looks pretty good here as well and uh, so hopefully that gives you a good look of the interior we'll show you some more stuff okay we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the, the deck lid here you know the motors in good shape it's a 19 uh, you can see the engine number here it's a late 1966 1500 originally it would have been a 15 and or a 1200 so it's got a 1500 engine in it and uh, we did a lot of work uh, I put new uh, uh, sound ender in there and we repainted all the tins we repaired the um, intake manifold and stuff it was kind of icing up in here and a lot of times what happens is the preheat tubes they get uh, corroded inside you know carbon buildup and, and different things so uh, we repaired those so that we would preheat up you know like it's supposed to um, yeah we just did different things in here repainted the fan shroud and stuff uh, put a new box on it and um, so overall pretty good I'll put it on my lift so you can see underneath but we put new valve covers on it and or uh, new valve cover gaskets and uh, repainted the uh, uh, valve covers and uh, did a um, we also did a uh, valve adjustment on it so why don't we go ahead and uh, start it up you can hear it run yeah, I love the sound of the little bug and uh, sounds nice you know, everything seems like it's a pretty good uh, working order in, in uh, general so uh, you can see here it's probably got a new uh, newer uh, boss generator on I didn't put that on there, it was already there. But uh, go ahead and rev it up a couple more times. Go ahead and rev it up a couple more times. You know, it doesn't blow smoke. And uh, pretty good little motor. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and look underneath the bonnet. One thing I wanted to show is this is pushed in a little bit, so you'll see this gap. Here you can see that, and there's a little bit of a gap down here. And uh, But I'll show you underneath the car and we'll well, uh, the key does work on the lever. Go ahead and pull it. There we go. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look inside of here. This actually flips up here, but um, what you really want to see is what this looks like with that stuff out. So we'll take that out real fast. Okay, we fast forwarded a little bit and uh, took the tray out. I love when you're trying to sell something and uh, you can't see what's underneath that. And uh, so if you're ever trying to sell, something online people want to see inside here and see the issues whether pretty or ugly you know it doesn't matter 
you know the fuse box this is the back side of the fuse box right here if you look underneath the dash you can see it but this is actually really tidy in here uh, behind the the dash you can see the original glove box but this is actually really nice in here the fender aprons look good gas tank looks good right here you can see there was a repair these little wormholes were some filler and that was actually behind the actual fender but uh, must have got uh, into something a little bit right there at one point pretty minor looking and uh, this side looks real good right in here and I'll put it on my lift so you can see it it's crinkled just a little bit in here it's actually harder to see in here and uh, if you look underneath I'll put it on my lift you can see but you know overall pretty clean nose original jack you can see some little numbers stamped right there one six seven nine and uh, you can see the VIN number right there and it matches the pan we'll take a little look here in the front of the nose you know very good for a bug and uh, except that little bit of damage that's right there and you can see it's just moved back just a little bit uh, from there so hopefully that uh, gives you a good idea of what it looks like underneath the hood take a look at the uh, little bug underneath it's kind of nice to see uh, see it up on a lift and uh, get to in inspect it with me while I walk around and uh, check it out you know you're still gonna see the still photos and stuff but I like to do a video so I can poke at things and, and just show you different things that it, it really just gives you a whole nother look at it in, in general so we'll walk around it uh, here the biggest thing is we replace the floors and uh, I'll tell you why and uh, but we'll just walk around front to the back you know it's obviously a driver it's you know it's a rig that needs to be um, restored but you're gonna find out that it's actually pretty solid solid little guy you look here at the tires you know they're in pretty good shape and uh, not a lot of wear or anything on them or un uneven and uh, we'll walk around here to the front we'd put new uh, wheel cylinders up front and uh, for the brakes the brake lines look pretty good I didn't see any cracking they're a little dirty but uh, they look in nice shape and I think they were replaced you know not too long ago they just been dirty but we did uh, put new wheel cylinders on it and uh, we lubed the chassis and stuff I also put uh, new shocks on it as well uh, front and back but you know one of the important places to look here if you look up here this is a really nice condition the wheel tub looks good and uh, up in here looks in nice nice condition and uh, you know I don't see any rust you know this here the front beam looks in good shape you know it's just kind of dirty when I got it there was someone had undercoated it at one point and uh, tried to you know fix some stuff on the floors but uh, 
we took it just to another level so someone didn't have to deal with that and, and we did it so um, here you can see the brake line again is in good condition you can see up here you can open inside that tub underneath here you can actually see here it'd be hard to see that in a photo but uh, looks really good and up here underneath the pan up here on the nose I mean looks good you can see a little bit of filler had chipped off right there but overall in, in good condition you can see a little tiny buckle right there you know it's pretty minor and uh, I'll show you from the inside uh, too but that's the only kind of you know really bruise that I've seen uh, on this car so overall pretty original and uh, in good shape structurally you can see up here in the inner tub again looks really good you know, I don't see any any issues looks nice but anyways with the I'm gonna show you here the floors when I got it you know it had the the typical battery pan that was bad but then they did a really ugly looking repair which a lot of people do and there was another spot over here there was a rust hole over here right be, beneath the uh, the seat actually right right up in here and so I didn't want to put <coughs> I didn't like the I didn't want to put a bad pan you know replace that just section of the pan because I don't like them when they're when they're seamed and uh, so we put new floor pans in it uh, all the way around we had to lift up the body and uh, put a new pan in you can see here the bolts and uh, so it took a little extra work to do it that way but you can tell here it actually looks really nice and uh, we put a new seal underneath of it and uh, it looks really really good and we wanted both sides to match so even though this probably didn't need a full plant pan on this side I didn't want to have a big old seam right here so anyways it looks good and uh, I think we did a pretty nice job you can see you know it seemed really good you look down the side here you know it looks good I think uh, not the Tudor own horn but I think uh, they did a nice job here in our shop so I can't take any credit for it except deciding that we should do it so we can see here the rocker is in really nice condition Let's see over here up inside here this is an area sometimes a convertible can have issues but you know again very solid wheel tubs look good up there too and uh, we'll just look here on the other side at the rocker on the frame on the on the pan you know again really really nice and uh, in good condition you can see the jack mat looks nice as well you know back here in the back there's the new shocks we did bleed out the system the hoses look good back here and uh, we did re repaint the wheels as well but you know again up here in the wheel tub you know if you're looking to buy a bug and these tubs are really really nice and you can see there's no damage back here in the back and uh, we did uh, adjust the valves and put new gaskets valve cover gaskets on it as well and we also put new boots right here on the axles there was a lot of leakage going on you can see the transmission has a lot of a lot of little uh, leaks and stuff you know just old old stuff but I think a lot of that was probably from those boots and you can see here on the other side the brake line and the boot we replaced it on this side too <coughs> and uh, so I think a lot of this oil you see underneath here we'll have to see as time goes but a lot of that oil was uh, was the the old boots that were on there that were cracked and leaking all over the place you can see here the the ID number and we'll decipher that later but hopefully you can see that's seven five eight five one eight one right up there on the side you know again the transmit the uh, rear the engine you can see the you know they're fairly dry but there's a couple little seepage areas there on the tubes and uh, you know the engine does run really good but you can see you know just a little dampness around different things I mean it's a Volkswagen bug so 
I think it's pretty common on this thing. And you can see here that we also put a new muffler on the back as well. And, uh, and new tips. So we basically wanted to make it a driver, you know, something that someone could actually enjoy and uh, did a lot of the hard work. And uh, so hopefully someone will get a nice little bug, but you know, basically it just needs little things uh, <clears throat> done to it now. And um, you know, mostly paint, you know, obviously the paint isn't real hot. And uh, just showing you the bottom of the, of the quarter panels look good. You know, a lot of times these cars get really rusty in here. I'm kind of going over some stuff that I already showed you earlier, but I just wanted to show you just a couple things why we have it up on the on the lift here. And uh, you can see a little tiny dent there. But uh, overall, really good. You can look here at the bottom of the quarter again. So the other thing too, just real quick, I did put new running boards on it as well. So hopefully that gives you a good look structurally what you have underneath there and uh, it's a nice little little bug you know these convertibles are really worth sa saving and um, you know I like little coops too but uh, very cool car if you got questions just give me a call you can email me you can make comments on bat I would love to help you out and uh, we'll go from there thanks for looking